Hello everybody, this is Isaac Sanchez, your financial guide and your financial advisor. Let's find me ordinary with extraordinary today. Now in today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about pretty much the way how you, how your emotion, and not only that, but the way how you were, how you were built, your discipline, your wisdom, your knowledge, your intelligence, and how all of that can affect how you invest. And, and what the real main topic is going to be about is why is investing such a big topic for financial advisors to share and advise others on well the real i feel like the real answer to the the question i'm giving is simply that financial advisors financial advisors teach people to invest because that's how you can financially advise a person to make their own money or how to invest and pretty much how they live their lives by not only having an abundance of money, having an abundance of cash flow, or making passive income where they don't have to worry about where income or money is coming from, but it also teaches them a lesson that they can pass it down to their generation and the next generation and so forth. I feel also that emotion is... A lot of people invest emotion-drivenly. Now, I'm not going to consider gambling, going to the casino, any of that, or betting a way of investing as it may be a way of putting money to something to gain a type of return it is not a good way to invest in even though i just said it's not i'm not going to include to invest i'm going to be honest gambling betting like prize picks for example or going to a casino is definitely a way of investing your money but it's not the best option for you out there and i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend it to anybody unless of course you know that's what you do but Never come to me if you want to learn how to gamble better or simply just want to figure out how to, what, what's the best sports team to bet on? How can I increase my money off of price picks? Or how can I make more money betting on this team? Never ask me any of that because I'm uneducated of that because that is, the not, that is not the way I feel people should be teaching others or advising others on that type of way to invest and make money. What I focus on is how to invest your money long-term wise is long-term wise, which is by high yield savings account, investing into your retirement. Mostly I would go for a 401k or a Roth IRA, not traditional as traditional is traditional. And the traditional way is not always the best way to go in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. Like I said, and you're freely to choose whatever retirement plan you go for or whatever your company gives you or any match that you have or whatever your plan is. This is simply just a financial advisor advising what to do for free knowledge and also advising you, you know, just to make sure you're doing well and to see if you can get something out of this video and maybe you'll learn something new. Now, as your financial advisor and your financial guide, I will guide you and advise you thoroughly and as best as I possibly can to help you make it further in life or simply if you're just curious to learn more or get to know more about the way I um, advise others or simply just you want a new perspective of somebody different. Well, that's going to be me. Now, emotion, being emotionally driven to invest will most likely be a fear factor and a lot of risk. And mostly how you invest will determine on the way you are as a person. Your mentality, mindset, and of course, your emotional state is what's going to is what's going to dilate or more what's the word i'm looking for is going to attract or no 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 is the way is a way how you're going to invest what i mean by that is that you how your emotion drives you your mental state your emotion will drive your mental state on how you invest how you put your money into something that you feel is a good investment and overall being driven by emotion stops a lot of people from getting cash flow, getting passive income, and how people can overall live a good life and have an abundance of cash and money. Not only that, but also being wealthy and financially advised and having financial literacy, intelligence, and all of that. The way your emotion is driven is all dependent on how disciplined you are, how much you know of something. A lot of people I know that are not disciplined, like me, for example, as I'm not that very disciplined when it comes to certain things, I realize having disciplinary, having disciplinary skills and being disciplined is a way of showing that you can make may you can make way better choices. You can make way better, yeah, you can make way better choices in general. 
overall, your perspective is better. You have better discipline. You're more, you have more will. Having discipline is an abundance and just a bundle of a whole bunch of benefits that are given to you just for having that. As I feel, if you discipline your emotion, then invest, you therefore can make an abundance of cash flow. You can make a lot of money in general. You can be wealthy and have generational wealth and get to the promised land, which is what should be promised to us as long as we're willing to put the work in to do it. So I thank you for watching this video. But not only that, I just want to say one more thing. If you can learn how to control, have the discipline and understand the fact that your mentality and mindset is driven by emotion, then your mental state and your mentality would definitely grow dis discipline, endurance to overcome emotion so that therefore you are able to invest more clearly, invest wisely and make money. This is Isaac and if you stick with watching this channel, I say you have a great future coming ahead. I have a great future and I can't wait to learn more and I can't wait to show what I've learned to you guys. This is Isaac and I hope you enjoy this knowledge and I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your Saturday. I mean Sunday.